There are now four countries who have safely and softly landed on the moon, from the Russia, the Soviet Union, the United, the United States, China, and now India. It's a, it's a, it's a sign to us all that space is everyone's backyard. Hello and welcome to Secrets of the Stars. Today we're going to show you about Neil deGrasse Tyson and his panicking over India's declassified discovery on the moon. We're pleased that India chose to land in a unique location on the moon, the South Polar region, rather than the commonly chosen spots. Prepare for a groundbreaking revelation. It's Neil deGrasse Tyson revealing India's remarkable discovery on the moon, capturing the world's attention. Their mission to the South Pole aims to investigate and confirm the presence of water within the craters. The discovery has also not reshaped our understanding of Earth's natural satellite, but also created significant cosmic excitement. The history of the space exploration certain moments like Russia's first moon landing leave an enduring impact on our collective consciousness. In the early part of 1966, a significant milestone took place that captivated the world's attention. Luna 9, a Russian mission, achieved a groundbreaking soft landing on the moon Marking the very first successful attempt, this remarkable achievement not only saw Luna 9 safely reaching the lunar surface, but also transmitting awe-inspiring panoramic images of our nearest celestial neighboring. Luna 9 stood out as a unique spacecraft with its innovative design. It had a spherical capsule shape, weighed 99 kilograms, and measured 58 centimeters in diameter. The spacecraft featured four pedals which served a dual purpose. Firstly, they ensured the craft's stability. Secondly, they unveiled the crucial instruments it carried. Loaded with an impressive area of advanced equipment, Luna 9 carried a communication radio system, state-of-the-art solid-state radiation detectors, and a crucial thermal control system of managing temperature fluctuations. One of its most captivating instruments was a television camera strategically mounted on a rotatable platform, allowing it to scan the expansive lunar horizon. As Luna 9 began its operations, it exceeded expectations with mesmerizing images of the lunar landscape. These images revealed a stark contrast between rugged craters and rolling hills, capturing a landscape untouched by human activity. These captivating pictures even made headlines in the Daily Express newspaper after being received by Joe Drill Bank Observatory in England. However, Luna 9's mission went beyond visuals. It conducted vital scientific investigations. In the same year, on December 24th, Luna 13 continued the legacy, carrying out similar experiments and advancing our understanding of the moon. However, in 1969, a monumental event unfolded, permanently altering our perception of space and our role in the universe. This incredible journey began on July 16th with the launch of the Apollo 11 mission from Florida's Kennedy Space Center, marking a pivotal moment in the ambitious Apollo program. The primary goal of this mission was to transport humans to the moon's surface and ensure their safe return to Earth. Apollo 11 represented humanity's initial endeavor to showcase the capability of reaching the moon. Neil Armstrong, the mission of commander and the pioneer remembered as the first human to step on the moon, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, the lunar model pilot who followed in Armstrong's historic footsteps, and Michael Collins, who played a crucial role in orbiting the moon on the command module. In 2019, as India prepared for his Chan Ryan 2 mission, Neil deGrasse Tyson voices enthusiasm and optimism for India's lunar exploration efforts. He shared his thoughts with the world, emphasizing that Chan Ryan 2 was a remarkable endeavor. It aimed to place India in an exclusive club, becoming the fourth nation to achieve a soft landing on the moon, following the USA, Russia, and China. Tyson's words resonated with many who eagerly awaited the mission's success. However, as with all space exploration endeavors, uncertainties loomed. Sean Ryan 2 faced a heartbreaking setback when its lander lost communication with Earth during a critical descent phase, resulting in an unfortunate crash on the moon. The world shared in India's disappointment, but Tyson's voice offered encouragement and motivation. He wisely commented that space endeavors inherently pose challenges, and it was precisely these challenges that added value to such pursuits. Fast forward to 2023 and India was on the brink of rewriting its lunar narrative. Equipped with valuable lessons from past experiences and an undaunted spirit, the nation launched Chandrayaan-3 and this time the stars aligned for potentially successful missions. After four years of previous attempts, India achieved a remarkable feat. As this news of this triumphant landing spread, Neil deGrasse Tyson was among the first to commend India's resilience and celebrate its achievement. He highlighted how India had accomplished its mission with Chandrayaan-3's successful landing in the unexplored region of Moon's South Pole, carving out a unique niche for itself. After four years of previous attempts, India achieved a remarkable feat, a successful landing near the elusive and uncharted south pole of the moon. As news of this triumphant landing spread, Neil deGrasse Tyson was among the first to command India's resilience and celebrated its achievement. 
He highlighted how India had accomplished its mission with Chandrayaan-3 successful landing on the unexplored region of the moon's south pole. But what makes the South Pole so special? Tyson, known for simplifying complex scientific concepts, provided clarity on the matter. He explained that the moon's South Pole is akin to the gold mine for researchers. It houses craters that, shrouded in perpetual shadow, might contain water ice, a vital ingredient for life, and a potential source of rocket fuel. Beneath these lunar surfaces, ancient rocks at the South Pole hold a treasure trove of knowledge, offering insights into the intertwined historians and histories of the moon and Earth. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, with its primary focus on the moon's south pole, placed a significant emphasis on researching the presence of distribution of vital substances, notably water. Conversely, certain parts of the south pole were bathed in sunlight for most of the moon's day, offering an energy-rich communication-friendly hub for lunar missions. To accomplish such ambitious missions, top-notch equipment was imperative. The Vikram lander, for instance, housed a lunar surface thermometer, which diligently recorded the moon's temperature variations throughout the day constructing a thermal map of the South Pole. This data was pivotal as regions with sufficiently low temperatures might add ice water. This interaction served not only for communication but also enabled scientists to measure distances to the moon. Then there was Pragyan, the rover, an explorer armed with state-of-the-art tools among its arsenal with a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope and an alpha particle x-ray spectrometer. Neil deGrasse Tyson's emphasis on the revelation serves as a reminder that the universe remains brimming with mysteries, eagerly awaiting exploration and revelation. As we await the next celestial update, continue to gaze skyward and share your thoughts in the comments below. That is all for today, folks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting updates. Thank you for watching.